whenever a story starts out with no shit, there I was, you know, it's going to be a good story. <laughs> so um, there I was. And like I tell people, uh, I'm not I'm not a 100 percent nerd. I have vices. You know, I go out there and play poker and dabble a little bit, you know, risk free money. None, you know, I ain't sitting here mortgaging a house to play poker and something like that. So last night I'm uh, sitting there at the poker table. And I'm sitting in a seat and then a dealer, we're close to the dealer. And some people were there, you know, all my conversations, no matter how they started all, it always comes back to finance or personal finance. And then the lady working there, she says, uh, she's like, hey, the Beyonce concert coming up. And I'm wondering, should I just get another credit card to get the, to go to the concert? And then my exact reply, and I don't know this lady from, you know, holding the wall, uh, but my reply was, I was like, I'm not, I can't tell you to go get a credit card for Beyonce. And I was like, but if that's what you're going to do, that's what you're going to do. And then, and then I explained it. And then, so she dismissed whatever I said, which I knew. She's like, oh, I don't care. I'm still going. And, I'm, but I just got to find a way. What's the best way to charge $2,000 and not pay as much interest. And then I told her, I was like, I'm not going to tell you. Not to go to Beyonce. I'm just saying, if you want to make a purchase, you know, that's how you do it. Or this is how you do it. But it's crazy. And then and then I said, I said, I talked to somebody else. And this is what I'm saying to the dealer. I said, I talked to somebody else. And they said the only reason why they want to be in the concert is so they can breathe the same air as Beyonce. <laughs> right? And then I'm thinking she's going to say, well, that's, you know, that's stupid. She was like, Exactly. Just to get the, and this is not, this ain't, you know, the first person who told me that they was, you know, teenage, but this person is in the, you know, she's 30 or so. And uh, she's part of the beehive or whatever they call that thing. And, and I'm just sitting there and she said it, she's like, that's exactly it. And then, and then we started talking and then, so I was telling her, I said, and then she said something about, you know, rich people, people being rich. And she didn't like that. I said, you know how Beyonce got rich was, by getting money off the people that don't have the money to afford to go to her concert. That's how she makes the money. And she was like, yeah, but that's how everybody do it. Like, okay, so it's bad for everybody but celebrities to make money off the poor. But it's bad for everybody else to make money off the poor. And it just, it's just magical how the mindset and the thinking of people. But yeah, I get out there so I could, you know, keep the pulse of what everybody else is thinking. So that's how I do it. Go out there and play poker. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, I know we get comments like that too. Like, oh yeah, just keep taking advantage of people. Like, that's, that's not what we do, you know? Like, there's always, I mean, in reality, no matter what you do in a capitalistic country, there's, you're always going to be benefiting someone that's wealthy. And I think it was, uh, I think it was Andrew Tate that said this was, um, you could invest your money. Who are you going to invest it with? Rich people. You could spend your money mm -hmm. you can spend it with rich people in one way or another. It's going to go to the rich people. So, you know, and it's it's just because you're either creating something that people want or creating something that people need. And so it's one or the other. And you as a consumer, you're your own problem for giving money to someone that has the ability to provide what you want or need. I mean, it's it's not rich people it's you yourself but people never want to take they never want to be the one to blame they want to blame somebody else that's the easiest way for people to do it and i mean it was a good time uh i stayed there longer i stayed there for like five hours and i was just talking to people from from everywhere i mean it was so actually somebody from venezuela there talked to them about you and your wife and all that but i mean it, it was just it was just crazy to see the different mindsets the thought processes going to people and that's what that's what I do I don't you know I mean Alex you see me out I always talk I talk up anybody who's talking but it always comes back to finance and we talk yeah. about finance stuff like that but for me it's twofold it's to get the information of what's going on in the in you know in the surrounding area but the other part of it is to get a pulse on the mindset of what people are thinking I mean I, so I know people are gonna say well that's just what that one person is thinking no it's not far off from what everybody else is thinking Right. So just to keep a pulse on what's going on and things like that. And I do that from time to time just to, you know, stay abreast of what people are thinking because I be in my little nerd box like, oh, this is what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention to what's going on. But I always say if you study history, uh, if you study history, you won't repeat it. 
So I like seeing what people thinking and sometimes give me a tactical advantage on, okay, people thinking this, so I need to pivot this way. It's just like uh, back in a 08 crisis when, you know, everybody in their mom was talking about housing, like um, people at McDonald's, taxi drivers, everything. Oh, you know, you're in a bubble. Just like recently when, when, uh, and I told you this, everybody's talking about crypto. And uh, I, I said, look, you never invest in your life when you're talking about crypto. So we're in a bubble. And I told you I flew to Texas the next day. I woke up and I sold the Bitcoin. That's just what it is. So I always talk to people to see where they at, to see where I can get a tactical advantage at. And, and you know, see if if the world is still crazy. But they are. So we good. <laughs> yeah, they are. Well, with that being said, guys, if you liked the video, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, share. We'll see you guys in the next one.